For this question, we are going to find the center of the circle that has these two points as the endpoints of its diameter. Well, first of all, how does the diameter of a circle look like? It's you go all the way across, right? And just to illustrate the idea better, let me draw you guys a picture first. So let me put down these two points. The first one is 6, 16. And let me just mark it here to say 6. And let me mark it here to say this is 16. So this is 6, 16. And we have another point, which is negative 2. Let me just put it down right here. And let's say 4 is right here. So this is the point, negative 2, 4. Well, these two points are the endpoints of its diameter. And diameter, it's a line that goes across the circle, right? And you pass through the center as well. So anyways, let me just draw you guys. Let's connect the dots first. And the circle in this case, this is not the center. This is not the center. We are not going to draw the circle this or that. These two points are the endpoints of the diameter. And diameter, once again, is you go all the way from one end to the other and pass through the center of the circle. The circle is going to look like this. So I'm just going to draw you guys a circle like that. Okay, so this is the circle. I know it's not perfect, but it is a circle. And we are going to find the center of the circle. Well, this is one end, this is the other. The center is going to be right in the middle. In another word, we just have to find the midpoint between this and that. That's all. So right here, let me just write down. We are going to find the midpoint. In this case, that will be the center of this circle. And the formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2, right? And then the other is y1 plus y2 over 2. So all in all, this is all we have to do. And um, I'm just going to label this as the first point because that's what it says right here first. This is x1, this is y1. And let me label this as x2, y2. It doesn't matter how you label it, as long as you are adding them and dividing two, that's all. Remember, you're trying to find the average of the x values, so you add them together and divide it by two. For this one, we are going to get x1 is six, so let me put on six, and then we add it with, we always add, but sometimes the x value can be negative, because right now, x2 is negative two, so we add negative two to that, and this is all over 2, comma. The y coordinate is that we do y1 plus y2. So we have 16 plus 4. And then divide it by 2. And this is the work that we have to do. Right here, let's see, 6 plus negative 2. In another word, 6 minus 2, which is 4. 4 over 2, we have 2. This one. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Therefore, the answer is 2, comma, 10. This is also the center of the circle, okay? It happens to be the midpoint between the endpoints of the diameter. And this is it.